alien and strange, and yet familiar and earthy. Mushrooms are as unique as they are common. And they taste good too. Well, at least some people think so. People are like, oh my god, I love mushrooms. And they're like, ugh, I hate mushrooms. So you never find anybody that says like, they are lukewarm. You know, either you hate them or love them. Where's the spawn, sweetheart? You want to get the spawn, Monica right? Gallardo and her husband Jason Bednars own Motown Mushrooms in Morristown. Oh, a... Bednars is a jack of all trades. A carpenter and sometimes Some chef, he started growing gourmet mushrooms as a hobby and selling his crop to his fellow chefs. It didn't take long before demand exceeded supply. Chefs always like the weirdest thing they can put on the plate, and so at least the better ones. Um, and so if you can show them a product they've never seen before, or they're even better, their customers have never seen before, you get this wow factor. And so they're always interested in, in not only you know fresh and local, but completely new flavors and textures. As a carpenter, I often get slow come January, and usually when that happens, I launch into projects. And so the project that year was to build my my flow hood uh, and my big sterilizer to step up the mushroom growing game. Growing mushrooms breaks down into two categories: propagation and cultivation. The flow hood Bednar's built in his basement allows him to work in a sterile, lab-like setting and produce specific varieties of mushrooms like oyster, lion's mane and Hint of the Woods. We start with Petri dish, which is a, a agar medium, which is a nutrient medium, which uh, allows the mushroom mycelium to grow, and that's sterile. As the mycelium grows, I check for contaminants. Once I have clean mycelium, I go to this sterilized grain, and that allows the mushroom mycelium to propagate out from the, uh, the inoculation points and colonize the substrate. This I can expand into 10 more jars. And so I keep making what are called generations of grain spawn and they get bigger by a factor of say eight to 10 every time I expand it. And so it's a series of expansions and you start with a small speck of mycelium and you grow it out to its physical limits and then you use it to fruit mushrooms. Saw something, an off color brown in here. There's, there's at least 10,000 species of mushrooms, and it's a constant process to learn more and more species. Terry Delaney teaches the biology of fungi at the University of Vermont. Across the fence followed Delaney on a mushroom foraging field trip a few years ago. The connection between fungi and humans goes back centuries to a time when mushrooms were considered the food of the gods. There are um, documented uh, fungi in the form of stone carvings uh, from uh, uh, thousands of years ago. In fact, the Egyptian pharaohs even apparently uh, uh, consumed mushrooms. In fact, they were uh, privileged to be the people who could consume mushrooms in their, in their society. Foraging for wild mushrooms continues to be a tried and true practice for finding favorite fungi. But commercial mushroom production has also ramped up in recent years because of how easy and profitable it is to grow mushrooms. Many species of mushrooms are, are very easy to cultivate. And the oyster mushroom is a good example. It will grow on almost anything. I even saw a fella grow some mushrooms on an old t-shirt that he had inoculated. Uh, so that particular mushroom grows very well. It's also a very uh, effective uh, decay fungus in the forest, and we'll find that on decaying logs. Oyster mushrooms have become the meat and potatoes of Motown Mushroom's business plan, thanks in part to the fungipale. Bednars and Gallardo developed this grow-your-own kit, which packs mycelium, and eight pounds of pasteurized straw into a two and a half gallon pail at $29.99. Everything that the mushroom needs to grow is inside. In fact, by the time you get it, it's already well on its way to producing its first crop of mushrooms. So the mycelium will colonize that substrate. And when it finds the holes, uh, it, it senses the light and the fresh air, and it'll begin to produce little baby mushrooms, which will rapidly expand over about a week to full size. And so, I mean, it's pretty hard. Our biggest problem with it is actually keeping them from fruiting before we can get them to the customer um, because they are like little biological bombs. They, they will produce mushrooms no matter pretty much what you do uh, over about, uh, about three weeks from when you make it. And I've had friends that forget them in the trunk of their car, in their closet, and they've erupted into giant mushrooms. The fungipales allow Bednars and Gallardo to spread their love of mushrooms and to teach people how to grow their own food. People are uh, um, really looking to uh, get uh, uh, first local foods, 
uh, uh, foods that are like really uh, beneficial for you and uh, um, also they support a small business. The fact that you can grow it your own and you know that these mushrooms don't have any pesticides, they don't have any byproducts, anything like weird being added to them. Uh, you know where your food is coming from. I think people uh, find that uh, very valuable. We love uh, teaching people how to grow their own mushrooms, teaching them about the advantages of, of consuming your own food. I love it. I, I never thought that I was going to be a mushroom farmer. If you asked me 10 years ago, I would be like, what? <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm really into it now and I, I we really love it. Watching mushrooms grow is still exciting even after all this time. It's so fast. They're so alien. Um, they're so amazing in flavor. They're uh, ridiculously efficient at converting cellulose into protein, which is like one of the big problems in nature is what do you do with this woody cellulose material? And if it wasn't for mushrooms, we'd be buried in leaves. And, and logs that never rot. Um, and so they're an integral, poorly understood part of, the, uh, the, the na of nature. And it's, it's great to be able to get in there and, and monkey around with it and experiment and, and see what does what. From pails, on logs, or in the wild, fungi are apt to mushroom just about anywhere. What can we say? Fungi are fun and delicious. Well, maybe. In Morristown, I'm Keith Silva for the Crossing Cats.